guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I want to do the full world tour with the Ginyu Force team. Um, again, not just highlighting uh, Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu himself, but also, you know, the Raccoon and Goldo and then the Birder and Jace together, right? You can't really separate them. They are sort of like a package deal. That's very important to keep in mind. Now, Raccoon and Goldo... Provided they're next to the Ginyu, I'd say they probably are the best banner unit in the game. I feel like they're just, they're too good. Like, they are... Like, you... On any of these teams, Namek Saga, Ginyu Forest, Dragon Ball Seeker, Terrifying Conqueror, Special Post, Space Traveling Warriors... I just see no way you wouldn't run a rotation of Raccoon and Goldo in slot 1 and then Ginyu in slot 2. Like, it's just undefeatable. Like, it's just... It's too good. Um, you, you, Like, you, you... Again, I... I'm taking those two, that rotation, I'm taking that over Full Power Frieza and Third Form Frieza. Taking that over, I don't know, UI Goku and UI Goku Sign. Like, uh, Ginyu and Raccoon and Goldo, uh, that might be my favorite rotation in the game. Honestly, I I, I think so. Let's go and hop in. Um, let's see uh, if we can cook. We're going into Planet Namek Saga Super Battle Road. So this will be a good test. Maybe you're a global player who didn't get, you know, LR Full Power Frieza, LR Namek Super Saiyan Goku. So this stage could be tough for you. Potentially rocking it with the ginyu force team in here we could go oh beautiful that's what we like next turn is going to be not good though because we don't have a ginyu um you definitely do want captain ginyu um on each rotation he's just too good all right let me he is going to be a bit of an issue for Ginyu. no i see well hmm i want damn Okay, this is where my Captain Ginyu is one link away. That one link, it would give him an extra key. So I would be able to do this. Let me debuff, I guess, Zarbon. I would be able to do that. And then I could hit this, and then that would drop. So then the AGL key, I think, would be available for him. Could I? If I do this, is that enough int orbs right there? It is. It is. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. So we'll do this. All right, so let's see how uh, these characters are. Oh, that's ideal. That's perfect. Yep, double digit damage. Uh, again, Raccoon and Goldo, their power carries over in every event in the game. It's just provided they're next to Ginyu. That's all you need, right? So attack. they greatly lowered attack, they and they sealed, and they lowered defense right there. And you have a 50% chance to send. They're, they might be the single best Super Battle Road unit in the game. Actually, I think they probably are. Raccoon and Goldo, the best Super Battle Road unit in the game. I think so. I, I, I think I think so. I think I would say that. Um, it's just, I like you put them in slot one. Again, you have to have Ginyu next to them. That's fine, but that's not... It's not <laughs> Ginyu is probably the best TUR in the game, right? That's a 55% Ginyu right there. Um, Oh, there's no... Oh, okay. okay. I was going to say I sh I'll, I'll use an item here, but there's no there's no um, super attack coming in. Because Jace is a scouter unit. Perfect. We have a bunch of support as well. And then Goldo will be able to debuff Dodoria afterwards. Yep, not too bad at all. Okay, perfect. All right, we're looking good. Um, now, after the, now, after this turn right here, um, we have Captain Ginyu on each rotation. So we're going to be looking a lot better. Um, I probably do want to keep Birder and Jace, potentially, on rotation with Ginyu on this turn. Um, by the way, keep in mind, at the time I'm recording this... The LR Physical Ginyu Force EZ is not yet out on JP, right? That's very important to keep in mind. It's like, yeah, they would definitely merit a spot on these teams if their EZ was out, but it's not right out right now, right? So um, we're not going to be sort of seeing them go to work. Here's Raccoon and Goldo. Again, that damage uh, combined with the fact that they can't take damage. And, oh, I should show the links for my Raccoon and Goldo and Birder and Jace. Um... They're both, they, uh, uh, Birder and Jace are two links away. Raccoon and Goldo are three links away. And then Ginyu is one link away. Again, I've been grinding. While playing Elden Ring, you know, your boy has been, uh, grinding up a storm. Okay. So Raccoon and Goldo, again, we have, you know, one link at eight and then one link at nine. And then Birder and Jace, they're just two level nine links away. So, um, after today, I probably should have all three done. I might do, um, level 10 link videos for all three tomorrow if I can. Okay, so let's see what we got right here. Oh, this is a nasty turn. All right, so Ginyu is super attacking right away. Yeah, this is actually not really too good because... This is a 55% Ginyu. He's only at... A, I think we would die here. Damn it. Ah, this is where, like, if I could use my Ginyu, we would be good right here. But 55%... 
Link level fours and fives, no equips. Like, this is dog shit, man. I need, I need my shit right here. This. I want this, man. Uh, I'm gonna use an item just to be on the safe side. I feel like we could, could we live? See, the problem is that in Super Battle Road, we, we won't, we don't have access to Ginyu's heal, right? We're not gonna reach turn four with these teams. It's too good. Okay, so we'd eat the super from Ginyu. We'd eat a super on Goldo as well. Actually. Let me do this. I don't, I don't think we, would we, we would kill Jace. Jace doesn't, there's no way Jace has a lot of health. Um, I'm going to hit Birder. And then I'm going to hit Jace right here. We could die. I mean, let, let's see what a 55% gain you can do in here. 400? Oh, that's way more. God damn it. Okay. I, uh, they don't let me use my own units, man. My Ginyu would have cooked there. I'm confident. 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 Uh, all right, let's hop back in. That's... Damn it, dude. He took more than I, th I thought he was going to take in here. I mean, it, it is a, a hard stage for sure. Right? The, the Planet Amex stage. Um, you get to that part with all the Ginyu Force members, and they definitely can destroy you. Uh, that That's also the disadvantage of not having... Um, like, like our, 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 the way our opening rotations were sucked. They actually suck again right here. This is this is not really the greatest. Um, op like, like these two runs have not been too good. If, if there is a criticism we could throw out for the Ginyu Force team right now, it's definitely the fact, yeah, we don't have Ginyu on rotation. And we didn't get the guard. All right. Well, here's here's the, ar the, the argument against the Ginyu Force team. You have to have Ginyu on rotation, right? Like, you need Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu on each rotation to really just build the team together, right? We don't have a Captain Ginyu on the rotation, and even the Raccoon and Goldor are taking damage. I mean, remember, without Ginyu around, they have a 50% chance to get their um, guard, which we did not get. I have the worst luck with the uh, the those characters, the 50% chance to guard characters. I never have good luck with them. Tech 16... AGL, Super Saiyan 3, Trunks, all those guys. I always have terrible, terrible luck. Okay. Um, again, this is not great because we're. it's going to be a little while until we have a Ginyu on each rotation. Um, and that's really what you have to do. Because remember, all the stuff Ginyu's doing, dude. Like, he activates passives for Raccoon and Goldo and Birder and Jace, right, being on rotation. As well as supporting the entire rotation by 30% attack and defense, which does matter. Um, you know, he's super effective against all types. He's stacking defense. You know, he's shooting out five and six million attacks at super effective against all types, and he could do three of them. It's like, you know, he... Like, dude, that's a that's a 55% Ginyu right there. 5.2? Like, that's what he looks like at 55%. So, you know, it, it, it's... He, oh, this is bad. We could actually just die right here again because we don't... We... we the Ginyus did too much in that turn right there. Let me see. Uh, oh. Uh, I have faith we're gonna get it. I'm gonna hit you. We'll hit you. And then uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just hit Ginyu again. Okay, let's see what happens right here. Uh, guard, please guard. Wow, dude, I am the unluckiest ever, for real. Ah, th okay, I, I actually, I'm kind of glad that this video has gone this way with bad opening rotations because again it, it does show the one weakness which is just if you don't have a ginyu on each rotation right once you're set up and ginyu is in each rotation it's gg right and you're you're cooking for sure um and especially like you you do want to get um raccoon and gold though they're the, the the true craziness for like a super battle road run and stuff like that this will do damage oh whoa oh my god okay even without the guard <laughs> okay sure Sure, sure, sure. Um, and we got the the enemies that we needed to debuff. We got we got them debuffed, so we're good here. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let me know what you guys are thinking about the Ginyu Force team, Captain Ginyu, uh, Raccoon and Goldo, Birder and Jace. They're all very good. Only one attack. Okay. Uh, what do we got right here? That's Jace. It's J yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, my son. <laughs> See ya. All right, let's hit you. Let's just ensure that Jace is dead. Um, as long as Jace is dead, we're going to be completely good right here because we're not going to have to eat super attacks. 
Perfect. Hopefully, yeah, because uh, in Captain Ginyu is debuffed right here. Nice. All right, this turn, like, you know, that the Ginyu Force fight, we got triple supered in that first um, uh, run with, like, very... Oh, my God. Goodbye, Chase. Super? Nice. All right, so Ginyu is done as well. See ya, bitch. <laughs> that damage, man. My God. Well, you're out of here. He's, he's, you know, Ginyu cooks. He's good. He, he's good across the entire game. Um, typically, I feel like in a lot of content, you know, Ginyu in a proper setup with the proper units around, um, even, you know, right there at the start, he super attacks, you know, his defense, you know, you could be breaking over 300k defense turn one for sure with him. This actually is good. So we have the Raccoon and Goldo, but they're with my... Um, or, uh, excuse me, we have Raccoon and Goldo, but they're with the friend, Captain Ginyu, the weaker one. That's exactly what we want right here. Perfect. And then I'll debuff you. Uh, yeah, we'll hit this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this should be a pretty clean no-item run, I think, uh, for the rest of the fight. I think we should be good, because the final phase is a STR. Is it not, is it what, it's an STR final form freeze, I believe? Is that what it is? Or... I think I, I've only I've only done this through Battle Road stage a few times, right? There's I haven't had a reason to go back to it. Um, I am glad that they supported Namek Saga a little bit more, by the way, with this Ginyu celebration. I do think it's a good idea. Um, Dokkan is just in a pretty good spot right now. I think that the new 200% leader meta is definitely pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go into the final fight without Rakum and Goldo, which is unfortunate. But again, I believe Ginyu does have type advantage on this Frieza. Ginyu, if he triple supered right here. I feel like we could probably just kill him, right? It's Frieza, yeah. It's, it's a SCR Final Form Frieza. It's the, the art where he's putting his spirit bomb up. Yeah, or that spirit bomb, uh, the death ball. The death ball. Guys, right, so we'll do this. Ooh. Um. Okay, we should be good if we do this right here. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Actually, should I put Ginyu in slot three? No. Um, no, because I don't, I don't think... Birder and Jace would die just from the one super. They're not going to die from the one super attack. Hopefully, they could get more than one uh, uh, super attack in. Because remember, Birder and Jace, they increase their attack and defense with every uh, attack they do from their passive, but then also uh, their super attack effect as well. Give me one more. Damn, only two supers from Ginyu. Dude, I'm, I feel like I'm getting pretty bad luck in this run because my Ginyu's got like 25 additional. He's got like a 50... He has a 50% chance to additional that he didn't proc twice right there. Like, come on, brah. All right, that's okay. Bur as long as Birder and Jace do three attacks, uh, I, I feel like there's no way we die here. And they do have a 50% chance to dodge as well. They're very good, right? Um, a 60% support type unit that has, you know, good attack and defense. And they can dodge is, is a powerful combo. We could survive this, I think. They did enough attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's easy. We, we did enough attacks to where they're, they're good. Uh, it's a good enough rotation. And and that, at this point, it's over. GG, we won. All right, so let me know what you guys think about the Ginyu Force team. Um, you know, again, just casually no iteming a lot of these stages. Uh, you know, it's it's just very easy, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. These Ginyu Force units are crazy. And their power plays well in every event. Um, provided that, you know, like Raccoon and Goldo, Birder and Jace, you've got a Ginyu next to them. That's the only thing. Um, I mean, Raccoon and Goldo could still be good in, like, Battlefield. You've got the high chance to guard, right? Um, Birder and Jace, as long as you're with other space-traveling warrior units, they, they can be a 30% uh, support type unit, which can be valuable. But, yeah, dude, I, I'm loving the Ginyu Force team. Um, I think this is a really good celebration. I think they did a really good job with these characters, man. Uh, it may be not the most free-to-play friendly, just because I feel like you really do want to get all three from the banner. Ginyu, Raccoon and Goldo, and Birder and Jace. But you can supplement the rest of the team with all the free-to-play units, right? You have the free-to-play unit for each character, and then you have the two free-to-play LRs, including the physical one, um, which is, like again, going to be really good after their easy 8 So there's Planet Name Saga, Super Battle Road, Cream Pied. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.